I will say last episode, I kept calling the nobility, I kept calling the royalty nobility, even though two of the three main royal families were there, right? Including the Silvas uh, with the Silver Eagles and then the Vermilions with the Crimson Lions. That also has me asking why Mimosa Vermilion is on the Golden Dawns, but the Golden Dawns are also a renowned squad as well. But we haven't met the third royal family, right? I'm just gonna make sure that because this episode's called Capital Riot. And then with how Asta was ended the last episode, screaming at these royal, like, like I could totally see some shit going down. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius, back at it again with Black Clover episode 21, is this? Let me check. Uh, yes, 21, called Capital Right. I am excited. Let me write that down. Um, last episode, we had the aftermath of the dungeon even further. We had... Uh, a decoration ceremony where we saw people getting their new ranks based on how many stars they were awarded throughout the year i'm pretty sure if i remember correctly and uh we saw a number of characters i actually wrote down the vast majority of them i think i wrote them all um i didn't i didn't write down the ranks because there's so many but uh leopold vermilion among the crimson lions we got solid and nebra silva amongst the silver eagles as well who you know also hate noel sadly we have soul moran i'm probably butchering these names guys i'll get them as they say them in the show more a part of the blue roses who i'm i'm curious about them because they're the only ones who weren't talking shit during the the actual like eating portion of the event and then we also have Alagdora Sandler, Hamon Cassius, and Sherentium of the Golden Dawns, who Alagdora with his sand like uh, magic tried to capture Asta and make him not talk when he said, nope, out of here. So I'm just very curious about that. This is going to pop off. I'm excited. Remember, guys, if you guys want to support me and get early access and full length to this show, all the other shows I'm watching, consider checking out that Patreon down below. It would mean a lot if you guys want to support me, but Patreon's not really your thing. If you guys could just leave a like and a nice comment down below, it genuinely does help me with the YouTube algorithm. Thank you guys so much. So, so much. Don't forget to follow me on Twitch and on Twitter. Let's hop into this. Black Clover, episode 21, Capital Riot. Then the royals do, so he's not a royal. Who is this guy? What does he have? Undead magic? Cursed magic? What is that? I'm so excited, yes. Sea serpents coils. Oh, they're not. They're, they're they're having enough of his shit. They're actually gonna be going after him. But he's also had enough of their shit. Miss binding magic. Miss spiders threads. Spiders threads would probably be so binding and annoying to deal with. But it's magic too. And no one. It's so interesting seeing Asa fight anyone because no one ever has seen this not even the wizard king you know not even julius that's true he's very close range sand armored guard very similar to mars that's cool i like i love some of the binding spells i've already seen in the show i really think it's creative yeah mm -hmm. i understand where you're coming from mr elitist but you guys were acting in the wrong in the first place so you're just too ignorant to see that why so soft? Why so soft, he says. Okay, buddy. You know it's gonna fucking... Holy water bullet. Oh my god. That actually seems so deadly. You know it's not gonna let that happen. That's my boy. Come on. Dual wielding? And we know that first sword is so good at defense and reflecting and deflecting shit. It's just perfect for that. The Berserker fucking, he's like, alright, I didn't need to do it, but I would've. <laughs> Who is this? Is this Nozel? Is he, is he that strong? Older brother Nozel's like that? Oh, 
そこまでにしておけ。What, Fuegolion said that? Thank you, I agree. That's another royal family saying that. Alright, the Vermilions are way cooler, in my opinion, than the Silvas. <laughs> Alright, easy. Vermilions are way cooler, in my opinion. Easy. See, that's how you're supposed to act. Like, if someone declares they're gonna beat you, just declare you'll be stronger. Don't take it personally. Don't be, like, so insecure, you know? Cousins. Okay. I love family trees. So, Fugolian's mother, Fugolian's father, Mimosa's uh, father, Mimosa's mother, first son, first daughter, who is Mimosa. We haven't met Mimosa's brother. Uh, second son, first son, Fugolian, first daughter as well. For Okay, so there's another Fugolian sibling. And then, uh, is that a whole different line or do they split so mimosa's father so technically mimosa's grand mimosa's grand uh mimosa's grandparents on her mother's side are related to noelle's grandparents on her mother's side as well or is that just a separate family line that's why the dotted thing is there but uh second daughter noelle's the second daughter for oh nebra makes sense nozzle solid yep, yep, yep sorry guys i just wanted to absorb all that in my father's older brother is, uh, got it. My mother's older sister is Noel. Wow. So they are related. Wow. I'm saying I had to pause that to be able to get that. I will accept that. And my hero, they have like 20 rivals for fucking Deku. So he definitely does. He's fucking jacked. That is true. The Wizard King, the highest of you. Yeah, I thought all the royals would be on the same elitist page, but there's definitely infighting. Especially when it makes sense how they're related to each other, one would want to prove that they're better, you know? I'm saying... Suge. Yeah, even he can't detect mana and he can feel the fucking pressure in the air. He's under attack. Oh! When they said we're ready at the beginning of the episode, they were ready ready. Oh, is this like one punch man? How is it this deep into an attack and we're just now getting this emergency? We got undead fuck. What is this, The Walking Dead? Resident Evil? This is Raccoon City? Are these actual dead people? Is he able to create these out of nothing? I'm so curious. I want to know more. Because you would require so many dead bodies to be able to do this. Similar to like Orochimaru and shit, you know? It's so dark. See, yeah, it's, it doesn't look like he's turning bodies into these, he's creating these. So that's even way scarier when you think about it, because there's no needed materials to be able to create these. Like, it's fucking crazy. And they're so strong. Like, sheer numbers will just overwhelm anyone. Like, oh my god, oh my god. This is dark as fuck. Stone model of the world. He can make an exact replica of whatever he wants, and right now it just happened to be the king or the the capital, and it's like active. This is even better than mimosas, and I thought mimosas was OP. Literally, what I was just this is fucking crazy. Yeah. So it's like my hero they warped in in an instant. Hmm. Hmm. There's a lot more that's wind into this than I originally thought, so I'm glad. I'm really glad about that. Yes, I'm very glad about that. These guys probably wouldn't put him in a, a place that's important anyway, so I'm glad he's just going out there. 
Hey, it's Asta. Have faith in him, let him go. There you go. It's a good plan. I really like Leopold so far. <laughs> That's his name, right? Leopold. Love him. So, it's gonna be Leo for... Of course. I love the magic transportation, bro. Oh my god. I thought Klaus's was the coolest one I've seen at first, but his is... Fuck, it's still cool, but it's... Come on. Ooh. These are the Silver Eagles. Coming in with the magic strongest central district. I, I still don't like these guys, but I know I can respect their power, so I'm excited to see them in action. Ooh, love seeing Soul. That's my girl. This is gonna be you know squad. With Alidora. Ooh, Sandfist. Ooh, that sand guard again. That looks really dope. Yep. Can't just stop him. You gotta stop him. Oh, no half assed attacks over her. Oh, you know he's down there chopping zombie heads off. I was about to say, please be an old lady, but a little girl works too. The most innocent person that we can save, you know? Asa's gonna come in. We have to save the most innocent, most adorable. This guy has to be the most evil incarnate possible. He's gonna attack a little girl. And here comes a big ass sword with some white, silvery, curly hair. <laughs> Normally you hear the music play before it ends like Hunter Hunter, so I know it's ending, but that's a good plot. Come on, man. I just want to say real quick, because the Petite Clover this episode was about Mimosa <laughs> liking Asta. I just love how not only that Noelle is the Sundari who likes Asta, obviously, um, keeping it hidden for sure. You know, gotta, gotta keep it on the low, but Mimosa is so out there with it. I love the fact that she's on Yuno's team. Like, it's like, Yuno has to live with this. And then when Asta's like, why did she run away? Yuno's like, I think your arms were too short. And she was laughing at you. Or like, he would just say something like ludicrous because neither of them have any experience with women. Neither of them even, like Asta has been saying he's gonna marry Lily since he was literally six years old. I just think it's adorable and cute. But that does beg the question, who he's going to have babies with. Whoa, whoa, Darius, whoa, don't get ahead of yourself, bro. We're on episode 21, Mike, I know. But hey, I, you know, I thought Hinata, ever since the tuning exams, was perfect for Naruto. And I haven't seen Baruto, but I know they have some fucking kids. I know Naruto, not going to get, not going to go there. But, you know, I'm just saying, I'm curious, because... I, I'm, I don't know why I'm talking about that. I'll talk about this episode because that episode was absolutely A plus S tier fantastic. Like to introduce us sneakily with this guy who said they kicked him out. So he must be from the Clover Kingdom because he says he hates the Clover Kingdom. He's like, man, why'd they kick me out? I have more magic than the Royals. And he's like, that doesn't make sense because magic is everything here. So like, why would they, you know, why would that matter? You know, so like he must, I think he's sadistic. He must have done some fucked up shit. Clearly he has some of the craziest type of magic we've seen. But speaking of magic, seeing all the magic in use, especially the transportation, I love it. The Silver Eagles on their Watery Eagle, the Crimson Lions on their uh, fucking uh, Crimson lion you know then soul and charlotte on whatever that was earth sand magic uh using klaus's metal using you knows fucking win i just love it love all the magic uses i love seeing these squads separate into their little functions and taking care of the threat that's happening i love how quickly the pace of the threat was like it's not like we gotta wait seven episodes it's not like the threat he was here on the cliffhanger enough for the next episode like we're in there the cliffhanger was good i love asta i love noel going to save asta i cannot wait for leopold and fuegolian in action because i'll be honest i'm trying to i'm trying to not look at the openings a lot especially in like black clover because uh at, at, with me i'm a very 
contextual guys so as i pick up stuff in the show which i try to pick up as much as possible it makes the opening so much more out there you know so i saw leopold and now i noticed leopold in the opening i saw the guy who i just saw then i see him in the opening i'm like oh there he is you know i see um the the uh silvas in the and like it's like so i'm gonna try to avoid that but i cannot wait for these guys to show us some of their true power just seeing the head-to-head -head little duel little little pressure little flexing contest between nozel who by the way shut down the room by himself and fuegolian who also pretty much shut down the room by himself is just fucking insane i love how childish leopold is and how i just call him leo i love how childish leo is and how how much he wants to rival asta um he's like mimosa has been talking up you which makes sense i love the relativeness between um i'm not gonna even try to say what they are because she said mimosa's mother is noelle's mother's older sister so something along those lines so wouldn't wouldn't noelle and mimosa be like second cousins something along those lines i don't think it's third cousin this third cousin would be if it was related to your grandparents siblings right grandparents siblings kids kids i don't fucking know all i know is that i like it it's very complex i'm with you know too many royals but i'm gonna get out of here i'm gonna watch this next episode thank you guys so much for watching catch you guys in the next one peace out adapter squad thank you guys for watching